Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, with our update for Sunday, January 5th, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Again, it's a free $60 account, and again, all you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. Uh, mixed bag results for us yesterday. Listen, we started out real nice. Then we had the overtime loss, unfortunately, with the St. Louis Blues right here in Vegas at the Fortress on the strip. Up 3 nothing and looking in complete control. And then you saw the Golden Knights get physical, get chippy. Guys like Patch Reddy jumping in the mix, throwing some fist. And uh, next thing you know, uh, it looked like St. Louis just kind of wilted a little bit under the physical play of the Golden Knights. Golden Knights snap right back in the game and they go on to get the win in overtime. Uh, don't often get the St. Louis Blues. I mean, I know it's been two games in a row at plus money, but uh, we had plus a dollar twenty, and uh, again jumped out to that three nothing lead, and then just couldn't, uh, I guess, withstand the physical nature of play that they faced over the final two periods and into overtime in that particular game on Saturday. Uh, college basketball was another nice result overall. Uh, we were we didn't play Friday's games; we passed. That was after a three and zero sweep on Thursday, and then we were sitting three and zero with the chance for another sweep on Saturday. We lost the late play on Saturday night with Utah State, uh, San Diego State darn good basketball team. And the Aggies, boy, this is the first time for their coach going back to his days at South Dakota and including, oh gosh, eight or nine games at least with Utah State since last year, since he's been on board, uh, where he had won 21 games in a row following an outright loss. Well, that streak just came to an end by a very solid San Diego State basketball team. We finished three and one, uh, made a profit, but the top play was Utah State, but still were able to make a profit by winning the other three releases, which were Marquette over Villanova. We had Belmont yesterday. We had Old, Dom Old Dominion yesterday. So three and one there. And uh, overall, again, it was just what I, I forgot. I almost forgot about the NFL. How could we do that? Uh, didn't play the early game. I did play the late game. And full disclosure, I had the Patriots in the late game. And boy, that game, not saying that they would have gone on, gone on to win, but when they had a chance to go up 17 to seven and they had the ball first and goal at the Tennessee one with about three minutes to go in the first half, couldn't punch it in, settled for a field goal. Tennessee gets a couple of big plays, takes the lead before halftime. That was that. But a uh, tough season for the boys uh, at New England, and uh, we'll see. See what happens. They're going to have to shore up the receiver problems for next season and moving forward, no doubt about it, because they just had no deep threats. As you guys know, I'm not telling you anything new here. All right, here's what's going on for us. Free pick in just a moment. First, the betting report. As of about oh, 2 a.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. Pacific time, Saturday night, heading into Sunday's games and wild card action, Minnesota and New Orleans, of course, doing battle where the Saints are laying seven and a half to eight points as we speak. Looks like a little over 60% of the tickets and 60% of the money currently on the New Orleans Saints in that one. And then Seattle and Philly, we're seeing the number move the other way a little bit on Saturday and Saturday night. You saw Seattle uh, get up to as high as one and a half, even saw a couple of the twos out there. But for the most part, now it's back to pick them. Tickets are still overwhelmingly on Seattle, about 70% of the tickets from the books that report to us. And the money had been on Seattle all week. But of course, as I said, we're seeing some buyback the other way now. So you got 70% uh, 70 of the tickets over that still on Seattle, yet that numbers come down to pick them, which means obviously some respected money uh, has to be coming in on the Eagles in that one. So there's your betting report. We'll get to the free pick in a moment. Here's what I got going for Sunday. Listen, uh, after the three and one Saturday in college basketball, we're now seven and one with our last two days in college baskets. We're now 14, five and one with our last 20 plays going back a couple of weeks. And I do have two plays on Sunday's college basketball card. Both will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com exclusively. Uh, my free pick, by the way, is in the NBA. I'm going to get to that. Only NBA play I got for today on Sunday. So we're going to pass Sunday's NBA as far as a premium pick is concerned. I do like a couple of spots on Monday and fully expect to be back in action on Monday. As far as the NHL, I got one play in the NHL and we have the one play in the NFL for 
Sunday, which is available right now over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to our free pick, and we are turning to NBA action, and it's the clash between the Portland Trailblazers and the Miami Heat. The Heat currently, as I look around, land five and a half to six. We'll grade it at six uh, since, oh gosh, at least 40% of the books that I'm looking at right now as I record this video are sitting at six. So we like it at six or less uh, with the Miami Heat in this one. It is uh, the return to Miami for Whiteside, now a Portland Trailblazer. And listen, I know uh, he's going to have a little bit of extra motivation, obviously, on his side. You've also got him coming off a big game. You've got C.J. McCollum off a big game uh, as they ended that streak the other day, by the way, with a nice win. Uh, as far as Miami's concerned, they've been a little bit odd of late, a little bit shaky. Uh, they lost three games ago to Washington, but then they came right back and they played outstanding basketball on the defensive end of the floor to knock off Toronto. And then they lose again last time out where the offense sputtered. But I expect them to bounce back here. If you saw what happened the other day last time out, I mean, you had uh, the reserves basically for Miami just just shooting terribly, uh, especially from the deep perimeter. Jimmy Butler was decent. He had 23. He made like 7 of 12 from the floor and all that kind of stuff. But coming off of that bad uh, outing offensively for Miami, I do expect them to bounce back here with focus on the defensive end, just like they did against Toronto coming off the bad loss to the Washington Wizards the game before that. So uh, our free pick, our opinion is on the Miami Heat minus the points at home over the Portland Trailblazers on Sunday. That game goes around 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. All right, that's going to do it for me for Sunday. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Again, your free pick, the Miami Heat. We'll be right back here on Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with my next report. Let's put Sunday in the win column.